Hello boys and girls, Jasper here, and today we're talking about the new horror film, VHS. So, I was lucky enough to speak to two of the wonderful actresses in this, Hannah Fearman and Helen Rogers. So, let me tell you about VHS. VHS is what is called a found footage horror film in the vein of, say, the Blair Witch Project. Now, I think that is kind of its undoing. If you ask me, it's the little films inside that really make the story. Not so much the uh, main story arc, which is called Tape 56. Anyway, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. So, let me tell you a little bit about VHS. Now, from my point of view, and this is probably just me being a little bit picky, I think it should be called DVD. Because let's face it, ladies and gentlemen, how many people these days even have a VHS video recording system at home? In VHS, a group of nerdy wills or no-hopers, scallywags, scamps, all those sorts of things, are hired by an unknown fella or woman to uh, go and break into a house that's in the middle of nowhere and uh, steal a mysterious tape. Hence the name, VHS. Anyway, when they get there, they find that uh, the room is got a dead body in it of a bloke in front of a bunch of tellies and piles of uh, videotapes, which happen to be all around the house as well. So, they then take turns in actually watching films. And that's when we get into the little short uh, stories. Some of them, great. Some of them, not so. But, all in all, I think quite fun. Fun in a gruesome way. So, first of all, let's look at the main story arc called Tape 56, as mentioned before. I think the weakest component of the actual uh, story. Uh, it is all done in very, very shaky cam and uh, I would say uh, purposely bad uh, quality. That's all very well, but I actually think it would have been nice to actually not have that linking a story and just had a bunch of little stories that would be much better, in my opinion. Anyway, let's go and talk about the individual films. So, first of all, we have Amateur Night, which I think is great. The makeup is great. The special effects is great. The gore is great. The story is good. The acting is fantastic. I have to say, Hannah Fearman, who stars in that as the uh, mysterious woman called Lily, was wonderful, disturbing, beautiful and horrific. Uh, she has these amazing eyes, which uh, still freak me out a little bit now, to be honest. And uh, we'll talk to her a little bit later. Then moving on to uh, Second Honeymoon. A great little story from the point of view from a lovely couple. And of course, it ends a little bit horrible. But uh, I really enjoyed it. Kind of like a messed up love story in a way, I guess. Now, to the weakest of the shorts. On to Tuesday the 17th. Uh, this is four people who go out into the woods, same old, same old, uh, and uh, end up getting dead. I don't think I'm giving too much away there. Uh, it was all right. And now, on to uh, the film that has Helen Rogers. It is called, a very wonderful name called, The Sick Thing That Happened to Emily When She Was Younger. So, 
the name says it all, really. And uh, it's a nice psychological, weird, horrific little tale told from the point of view of Skype. Here's the irony. All the interviews I did were over Skype. So that's a little bit of art imitating life or maybe life imitating art. Anyway, I think well done. I really liked it. Then on to the very last, which is 10 31 98, as in the date. Now, anyone who anyone knows, American dates are only in America or in North America, I think. Uh, so, real dates, it should be 31 10 98. Anyway, that doesn't matter. So, another lovely little story. Great for special effects. And uh, I actually feel quite sorry for the people in it. It, uh, All the other stories in general are kind of like people getting their comeuppance a little bit. Uh, but this one, hmm, I think was a little bit horrible, but still great entertainment. So if I was to uh, give... Uh, my summary and uh, my marks out of 10, I will give this a solid 7 overall. As I said, some highs, some lows and some mediocres in the middle. Now, without any further ado, let's have a quick look at the trailer and then we'll go into the uh, interviews. Okay, here's the deal. We gotta break into this house, and all we have to do is steal this one VHS tape. Which one is it? I don't know, man. Let's just look at these okay. What's so special about this tape, anyway? What the fuck was that? Hey, no! You're all gonna fucking die up here. My apartment's haunted. It's not haunted. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. Jasper. So, Hannah, we're going to talk a little bit about your story called Amateur Night. Now, you play a character, very mysterious, very pretty, uh, but very mysterious, called Lily. Why don't you give us a little bit of a synopsis of your story for the punters out there? Well, it's, it's about three frat boy-esque bros who are... Um, Basically, in some sort of um, packish, weird, machismo uh, mindset, where they sort of have a um, us versus them mentality towards women, and um, they decide that they're going to go out and uh, trick a couple of girls into accidentally making a porn in a cheesy hotel room. I guess they're just so drunk and so out of it that they don't really seem to notice what's going on with one of the girls. And then um, strange and wonderful things happen. I wouldn't say wonderful. I would say a little bit nasty, if you ask me, particularly for one of the fellas. Do you think, do you think I was the villain? No, I would not say that you were a villain. 
I would say you were a victim of circumstance and you was doing uh, what comes naturally to you. Well, your character anyway was doing what come naturally to her. Playing the character that you was playing, being a lovely girl that you is, uh, what does that do to your head? That must have freaked you out a little bit. I mean, reading the script and having to think about all that as you were, was learning it. <laughs> well, um, yeah, wow. Well, yeah, during filming for sure. I, um, yeah, at one point, my friend, well, my, my makeup artist who um, became my friend later, we, we were in this hotel room and it, it was just the most horrific scene we'd ever been in. And we just both looked up and just sort of looked around and, and um, I don't want to give too much away, but I, I realized I was naked and covered in blood in this hotel room that was just torn apart. And um, we just looked at each other and we're just like, this is the most messed up thing I've ever, ever taken part in. I mean, it's just sick. It's just <laughs> completely sick. I think one of the most disturbing parts of your film, Anna, is when you do the eyes and you say the thing. How about you treat us to a little bit of that just before you go? I like you. I like you, Jennifer. <laughs> oh, oh, I like you too, Hannah. You have made my day. And even though you freaked me out a little bit, I still think you're absolutely lovely. Thank you very much. <laughs>